There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. No matter how many times I say it, and no matter how many times I click my heels together, I just can't seem to get there. The last time I was home was in 1979. It was commencement day at Cobo Hall in Detroit. My graduating class was pretty large, so we had our ceremony on the same stage where Kiss played when they finally broke out into the big time. I guess it was my turn to break out as well. And I did. In my infinite wisdom, it was that very night I decided to leave the security of my parents' home and move in with the love of my life, my first true love, Tammy. That was when I really became homeless. The summer of 1979. After about four years of being in love with the love of my life, we went our separate ways, and from there I found the next four or five loves of my life. But that's a story that's been beaten to death. The point I'm trying to make is I've never really been able to identify what home meant since. There was a house I shared with a buddy. And then there was an apartment I shared with a lady. And then another house I shared with another lady who briefly became my wife. And then another house and another wife. And we moved yet to another house and again and yet to another of course, it was over a matter of many years. John Lennon said something like, Life is what happens when you're busy making plans. For me, it was about 40 years. Yeah, 40. And 40 years later, I'm still searching for what the meaning of home is. If I dwell on it too hard, I can work up a tear. Oh, pity me. Then I just get on with it. With life. So why didn't I feel like I was home while I was busy playing house over all these years? From one era to another, I kept waiting for something to fall into place. Perhaps I was waiting for a feeling of security or permanence or maybe belonging, but it never came. Forty years is a long time to not feel like you're home. There were Christmases and Halloweens and Easter's. There were birthday parties and summer vacations that made me feel like I was home. But that was when I was a kid. After I became a husband and a father, I went through the motions of all that stuff, but I always felt like I was walking a fine line between never being accepted for who I was and constantly worrying about it falling apart. And it always did. I kept remembering what it was like for me to be a child. Mom and Dad were a constant I felt solid. I felt secure. But all that ended in 1979. So now what? Where do I go from here? Where can I go from here? At this stage in my life, what's left? How the heck did I get here so quickly? Well, that is where I'm at in this life, my life. What now? Alone, but not terribly lonely. Older, but not old and decrepit. And there's nothing telling me I have to continue to be anchored to one spot here until the day I die. And we never know when that's going to be. Seems like a waste to just sit here and waste away. Hence, my goofball notions of becoming a nomad. It's not the first time I was considered to be a goofball. Thank you for stopping in today. We'll see you on the next rant. I hope it's not as <laughs> dramatic as this one. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Love to hear from you.